How do the new Clear Score score bands actually work? Our credit rating is always there, rumbling along in the background. And if you're anything like me, then it's only when you need a good one, you actually care. Equifax is one of the companies we turn to for our credit rating data, and it's interpreted through a Clear Score report. Equifax made a change to their reports in April 2021 and caused a bit of confusion. But really, all they did was move the number goalposts. Our scores used to be calculated out of 700, and now that's been stretched to 1,000, giving us more scope. I guess they did it because it's a rounder figure to evaluate from. So, if you looked a long while ago and now the numbers shot up, it doesn't mean that your score's improved, it's just being marked from a higher number. The bands have now changed from very poor, poor, fair, good, to poor, fair, good, very good, excellent. Why the change? Well, nobody's branded very poor anymore. Plus, the good band is bigger, so there's more chance of getting into that. The excellent band has been split into two, so if you drop from the top, you're in a nicer category of very good. I've noticed as well on my banking app that you can check your credit score regularly. In all honesty though, it won't affect how your credit rating reads because it's just the names the brackets have been given. If you're deemed very good, you might still not be able to borrow what you want. There are three different credit reference agencies, Experian, TransUnion and Equifax. You may score completely different with all of them, so if you want a true representation of where you're at, then best to look at all of them to get your average.